everybody. This is Barbara Ling, and oh my gosh, it is so good to see all of you here today. I see a ton of familiar faces here in the audience, and well, over here in New Jersey, I'd love to say it's a beautiful, shiny, su uh, sunny day with the uh, clouds, rains, etc. And just to tell me, how are all of you there, uh, doing here? I, I see Steve, I see Betty, and Val, and everybody there. Okay, Tony mentions it's raining in the UK, and I'm pretty sure someplace in this wonderful area must must be snowing or sandstorming or something along those lines. We have a sunny and warm time for Mike in South Carolina. And in Ireland, Ireland is sunny for once as well. Very good. So today, oh my gosh, today you are all in for such a treat. Okay, today I am going to show you the techniques and ideas that I use to create quality products quickly, effectively, and dare I say, they might even get WSO of the day, product of the day. But here's the thing, okay? A lot of times when I am uh, creating these products and ideas and all of that sort of goodness, it takes me less, less, less than a day to pull it all together. Wouldn't that be great if you knew how to do that yourself? I mean, think about how your business would continue to grow if you knew the techniques I'm about to share with you. So without any further ado, let me go and actually activate the PowerPoint. Doink! Ha! PowerPoint is activated. And yes, it is past our time, so let us now begin. Alrighty, for those of you who are new to me, well, well who am I? Um, I'm the person there on the right over there. That was when I got my black belt in Gojuru Karate. Uh, online marketer, 1997. Uh, and yep, I have basically been supporting my family of six now via internet marketing, via product creation, okay? And one of the things you might have noticed if you're in our group, Pricking Up Profits, if you're in my customer care follow-ups and all of that, I love, I really do, I love teaching others how to duplicate the success that you folks currently see, and that's what you're going to learn today. Now, ever get an aha moment? I mean, one of those moments where you're kind of sort of sitting at the desk, then all of a sudden, 3,894 light bulbs go off. It's like, cheapers. That's what kind of sort of I'm supposed to do or such. Well, what I'm going to share you, I want you to be prepared for bunches of aha moments like that. And also, keep in mind, I love having interactive classes. And you know on your go-to webinar doohickey thingamabob that might be up to your right unless you've moved it. Uh, you see where it says questions, and people will call that the question box. Uh, during classes, I always like to call it the answer box. So when you come up with ideas or things you want to share, feel free, um, paste it in there, and when I see it, I'll happily respond to the questions or answers that you want to share. And of course, one of the first things that I love doing with these kind of classes is getting a lot of audience participation. So I'm uh, be prepared. I want to know you to be able to type yes or no, true or false, coffee or tea. Well, okay, not coffee or tea. All right, true or false. When it comes to product creation, okay, you can sell your products on platforms other than JVZoo or Warrior Plus. True or false? Let's see, Dave says true, and Janice says true, and now Sandra says true, and oh my gosh, all the trues are, are just scrolling off the screen. That Yep, that's right. But let me also share with you something. When you think about pay, uh, <laughs> see Barbara talk, take two, doing. When you think about selling products, and when you think about putting up a buy button, did you know? You can simply just put up a PayPal button, just direct PayPal button that people will click, they buy, they get their product. Very useful, and I want you to remember this because I'm going to be touching on this in the future. How else can you uh, sell your products? 
Well, you can have a simple self-hosted affiliate platform. I do myself. Um, I use what's called AWeber. No, I don't. That's, <laughs> that's an order of honor, right? Let's, let's try that again. I use a member. Yes, that is an affiliate product that whenever you see a lot of buy buttons off of my platform, it's going to be tied directly into a member. And when you go through that route, something to consider in the future, you want to have really strong security for when people buy your product. So, for example, you might be promoting a product and then for people to buy, they have to register, but to register, they need to think of a really strong password that has perhaps two special characters, two capital characters, at least 10 digits. Think about that, because uh, that's something that might come across in uh, the future. And uh, Julian asked, how do I get this lovely green surround for GoToWebinar? It, it's when you select, uh, set up your webinar, you can choose what color it is that you want to have uh, surround everything. I'm glad you enjoy that. All right, simple question there. Okay, you, got, you guys got this really well. Let's, let's try this again and see if I can stump you here. True or dare I say false? More is required than simply product creation to see those products of yours just fly off the shelves. True, true. Oh, okay, Gail says in capital letters, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yep, yep. Trues are just scrolling off here. And what might that be? Well, making the product, you know, it's kind of sort of uh, the first step. Uh, the product that I made on Monday, my, my gosh, it's Thursday now, isn't it? Uh, on Sunday, I got an idea, and on Monday, I made the product. It was great. This was the uh, Beginner's Internet Marketing Authority Profit Plan. And then on Tuesday at 2 a.m., I realized, yes, I have this product. It'd be nice if I kind of sort of had a sales page. <laughs> Fancy that. So, yeah, making your product is simply the first step. You also need to have the sales page. You also probably would like to have, oh, I don't know, affiliates promoting and stuff like that, planning, scheduling, good stuff like that. All right. Seems to be pretty difficult to stump you folks here in the audience. Let's try this one more time. True or dare I say false? Quality products. This is my movie voice, by the way. Quality products do not need to have the thud factor. Let's see. False, false, true, true. Ooh, we're 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 get, we're getting a collection of both. And the answer to this, of course, well, not of course, actually. This didn't occur to me either when I first started, and boy, I sure wish it did. It's true. The quality products they don't have to have the thud factor. They need to have the actionable factor. Okay. And this is where the first of those light bulbs I had talked about should, should be um, going off all, all over the place, like fireworks in your mind here. And what do I mean when I say the, the thud uh, factor? That means you don't have to have 200 PDFs, uh, 200 pages of PDFs, uh, 73 videos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Some of my most popular low ticket products there may be 15 PDF pages, 20 PDF pages. They have simply three steps, five at the most. They have the actionable factor, so then the readers, the ones who don't have a whole lot of attention ability or so, they get that instant boom. I see it. I read it. I can act on it in 10 minutes. Hey, I am a happy customer. The next time Barbling comes out with something, my gosh, I'm going to want to buy that. See what I mean? Quality products do not have to be huge. They have to be actionable. And that's not to say that there isn't a place for the products with a thud factor. There certainly is. And those products might be the higher ticket uh, items that you include in, in your follow-up customer care funnels or the higher ticket items that you promote solely to your buyers. Remember that. Alrighty, let's try this one more time. True or dare I say false? Products can have a long shelf life.
True or false? Let's see. Wayne says true, and uh, it's scrolling off really fast, so I have no idea who just said depends and depends, depends. Okay, wait. There's a Tony and a Mandy who said depends. Aha. True, 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 false, depends. Okay, and the answer is true, as a matter of fact. The answer can always be true, and here's why. You can use them for bonuses, for higher tickets by re rewriting, rebuilding your products, put them in your follow-up funnels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Even if it's not evergreen, it can have a long shelf life depending upon, take notes here, folks, depending upon the components you use to build it. Remember the word components because I'm going to say that probably 832 more times. I hope you all start to count. Boy, I, I, I went a lot with this today, didn't I? Okay, true or false? Creating a PPP is easy, or a P tripled, squared, tripled. Yes, powerfully powerful product. <laughs> Whatever you see on that screen, it's easy, okay? <laughs> And the answer is yes, it is easy. The premise, the premise is very, very simple. I can literally do it every day, but putting it into action, putting it into action, that's what takes effort because creating a powerful, popular product, and I dare you all to say that three times fast and then backwards, very simple steps. And I'm going to be teaching you these steps in, in this class, but yeah. Putting it into action, whoa, my gosh, yeah, what she said. So, let's talk about putting it into action, okay? Let's talk about what being a successful product creator, what, what does it actually mean? Tell me. All right, share in the answer box your answers. What does it mean if you are a successful product creator? Go ahead, type. All right, let's see. Tom says you. Make products. Very good. Gail mentions delivering val value. Okay. Mike says lots of value. Good. Willie says solving prob problems. Matthew goes ka -ding! I hope that was a very good impression there. Yes, etc. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, authority, baby. And okay. So what that means, it means that you have control. Control over your lifestyle, okay? And what that means basically is that you are then able to run your life your specific way, okay? And let me show you a bit of how I've been running my life my way and such. Uh, this is an image of where I, when I took my children uh, to the Great Wolf Lodge, uh, you see those blue things? Those blue things are water tubes. And notice the top one, that's on top of five stories that you get to climb up and climbing up in a bathing suit with a cane. Yeah, extraordinarily character building, let me tell you that. It enables you to go out to marketing conventions. This is me at the Mario Brown Online Marketing Mastery event uh, last year. It enables you even to you know, be pulled on stage to, to give a talk to all of the audience or Maybe just take your family out for a one-day adventure. There's me with my four children plus friend for uh, one of my kids' birthday parties at medieval times. Your life, your way. And then when you know about how to make products really quickly, really effectively, that sell really, really well, otherwise known as rinsing and repeating, your life, you know, it, it just changes, and uh, no, that's a picture of me and my eldest several years ago when we were on the Jersey Shore doing a samurai sword training in, in the morning. Lots and lots of fun there. You, you might notice my hair. I got thrown into the surf, and yeah, good times, good times. So now let me now ask you, okay, how much more money do you think you, you or yourself, will be making not each month but each week? If you could create multiple products that, that sell and sell well. Are we talking, is this going to put an extra $100 in your uh, PayPal account? Are we talking an extra $500 or even an extra $1,000? Think to yourself, 
you see Mike has a thousand and Janice mentions two thousand and this and again remember I'm not talking per day and per day my income depending upon if I'm releasing products or just doing solely affiliate marketing bounces anywhere from 200 to 1500 or so what would being being able to do this what would it enable you to do okay and everybody has their own goals some people their lifestyle their way it's taking care of their family their own personal freedom some people have kids who are getting ready to go to college some people have four kids who are getting ready to college, she said, stating the obvious of getting ready to take her child to University of Connecticut in two weeks. Some, some families, uh, preschool, some people have elderly parents as well. So, you know, vacation, sending your kids to the good schools, being able to take care of your parents and well. But here is also the really, really, really cool thing, okay? And Rob mentions paying off all bills. Yep. Uh, fire my clients, says Mike. Yeah. Uh, one thing, living your lifestyle your way, all right? It enables you literally to change people's lives for the better. And I, I know a lot of people will always just parrot that and such. When I started doing these masterminds, when I started doing three-week immersion classes, and then just seeing the results from my students, like, my gosh, Barb, I took your product creation boot camp uh, on Saturday, and on Monday, I put up a PayPal button for a $20 product, and by Tuesday, I had over 100 sold. You know, it changes people's lives for the better. In other words, you're doing stuff now not only for yourself, but for your network and customers too. And I'll tell you, there isn't just nothing, nothing like that. So, with that, as an extraordinarily brief introduction, let me now share with you exactly what it is you are about to learn. You are going to learn how to find unlimited ideas for products and never, ever, ever, ever get stuck again. I mean, how many times have you said to yourself, well, uh, cheaper self, I'd like to make a product, but I just don't know what, what, what to make a product on. Well, after this class, you will never have that issue again. Then I'm going to show you how you can know if a product's going to sell even before you type the very first word. And I need to ask, is anybody here hearing that the crescendo of uh, Twitter budgies in the background that just stopped? Good. Okay. Yes. So moving again. Okay. Good. No. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. How to start. Structure your product so that you can write it fast. People are just going to adore it. And you've seen me do it, folks. Last product, got the idea on Sunday, turned it live on Tuesday, WS over the day on Wednesday. Uh, product before that, which was the Warrior Forum, Freelancer.com, uh, Authority Profit Plan. Yep that also was created just as quickly then I'm going to tell you how you make your product look as though the professional design folks put it together you might have noticed the products that I put out there the covers look really good the insides look really good the headers and the footers they look really good I have created several templates that I can whip up the packaging for a product in, in less than five minutes. And then, and this is really cool, and this was not available the, uh, during the product creation espresso version 1.0, how to sell more of your upsells even after the fact. Okay, and when I say after the fact, let's say somebody buys your front end product and they ignore your upsell, but then the next day they buy it or the next two days that they buy it. And it's not that you sent out a mass email, hey, look at this. I'm going to show you that technique as well, too. So here is what you folks need to do now, all righty. I want you to silence. Yes, silence your mobile phone. And I want you to pause Facebook and Skype. Yes, I know, I know, shocking, yes, 
pause, pause those thingies. Oh, well, of course, before you pause them, if you just want to say you're learning incredible stuff from Barbling right now, do feel free. But pause everything social media and open a notepad file for notes. Okay, I cannot emphasize this more. You are going to be getting, I could emphasize it more. But anyway, you're going to want to take notes here, folks. Okay, what I am going to be sharing with you is all of the techniques that I've learned over the past year, and you are going to want to remember these goodies. Tell your friends. Tell your friends you're busy. Heck, take your mobile phone and fling it out the window. Okay, no, don't don't take your mobile phone and fling it out the window, but yet just kind of sort of like, yeah, silence or so, but tell your folks, <laughs> tell your friends that you're busy because, all right, it is focus time. What I am about to share with you Literally, this is going to change how you view product creation for the rest of this year. So does this sound good, folks? I mean, does this sound like something that is worth sticking around to listen to? I, I need to see some yeses here. And OK, we see yes, yes, OK, scrolling great. All righty. Wow. You know something? When you're talking long sentences, it helps to breathe. Hold on for a second. <sighs> Oxygen. It is a wonderful thing. All righty. Here is my promise to you. OK, now, you folks, you need to stay with me to the very, very end, because as you can kind of sort of tell, this class, it is packed with value until the very last minute. And I guarantee, I guarantee you are going to love what you learned. Guarantee it, because <laughs> this is the exact blueprint I do right now to make profitable, excellent, wonderful, quick, easy products that sell beautifully. And not only that, by the time you are at the end of this call, you are going to want to know about the special offer that I am going to make available to people on this call. And I know, I know a lot of marketers, they don't say, yeah, at the end, I'm going to give you an opportunity to invest in something at a discount. And well, I do fully transparent, you know, I think it's a good trade-off. You, you're here, you're learning this fantastic information that's going to change the way you're doing products. And in return, you're going to see this pretty cool uh, product creation through Mastermind at a special deal. So does that sound good to you? I mean, does that sound like something that you really are going to want, want to see, hear and see? Let's see what Rob says, yes, and OK, breathing. Waiting to see when I do that? Yeah, breathing is always a good thing. So first things first, OK? My ideas. This is not theory. My ideas, they work beyond question, OK? These are th only three other products that I have created uh, this year, actually these are the three lead gen, the low ticket products, all of them, WSO of the day, all of them built off the same kind of template. So I'm not just flapping in the wind with what you're going to learn today. These ideas, they work. All right, so, but here's the thing, okay? I'd love to say that three minutes after I was born, I knew how to do this. But you know, obviously, it wasn't always that way. OK, I returned to internet marketing back in 2011. I had absenced myself for other reasons that I can create a wonderful soap opera about. But anyway, when I returned, I returned with the way that I created products before I had left. And the thing is, is that. I didn't know back then how to create what people wanted to buy at that time. And you know, it, it's, it's really hysterical in a very sad sort of way. Uh, back when I uh, had, had created products, I would go for the thud factor. I would go for the, here's my hundreds of pages of PDF, uh, PDF files, et cetera. And, total wonderful immersion kind of thing. But times have changed. I mean, have you noticed that the attention, the attention factor so many people have these days, it ain't long. We're talking sound bites. We're talking people want 
to get Id actionable ideas, you know, within 10 minutes or so when, when they buy products, a lot of them. I didn't know that back then. It was very sad. I cried. I cried because the end result was dismal sales. I hate dismal sales. Don't you hate dismal sales? I hate dismal sales. Because, you know, you put your heart and soul into making products and you, you dot the T's and cross the I's or do the opposite of that, whatever. You know what I mean, okay? You, you're creating a product and you have your whole hopes up there and then you set it out and then the only thing you hear are the happy little crickets going chirp, chirp, chirp. Yeah. Not fun. But, you know, now that never happens because now I have my one simple system that is based upon the following one simple concept. Product creation. And this is not a you can. This is a you must. View product creation like the Model T's and uh, Tesla's. It is Tesla's or is it Tulsa's? I always confuse those two. But anyway, anybody remember Henry Ford, guy back in the turn of the century who created Model T's? Uh, those was a car. Yes, that's what it was. Those things with wheels. That was a car, yes. And it became really, really popular really, 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 really quickly. And, but why, why was that? Because what Henry Ford did was he had an assembly line. Okay, you need the wheels here, you pick it up from that bin. You need the steering wheel there, you pick it up from that bin. You need the chassis over here, you pick it up from the third bin on the left side, two rooms down, etc., etc. Broken up into individual components. So, your product creation, I want you to view it like a template. I'll repeat that again and take notes because this is now the second, third, or fourth light bulb that should be going off in your head. See, every product consists of a template. And every template has the unique customizable parts. And you can use these parts, these parts to craft new products. You have a template for the cover. You have a template for the table of contents. You have a template for the header, for the footer. And while you can go into the, is it, it's Telsa's, right? It's not Tesla's, sorry about that. But anyway, while you can go and sell the, the big boom ba and the really sophisticated $3 billion product, et cetera, et cetera, why not start simple? Start by selling simplicity. And what is the simplicity? The simplicity, one problem, one solution, one report. You'll notice the products that you have uh, bought from me that I've recently released uh, from the WSO of the Days, etc. One problem, one solution. You're telling the customer, I see you have an issue. Here's how you're going to solve it. One problem, one solution, one report. You don't go bananas and start adding enhancement, enhancement, enhancements, just one simple idea. So if it's all that simple, okay, let me ask you, why haven't you, why haven't you been successful with product creation yet? Well, why haven't you? I'd love to hear some of your answers. Go, feel free, share in the answer box. Why haven't you? And uh, Sam says, nobody bought. Uh, Sean mentions fear. Uh, Willie says, jack of all trades. Diana talks about going for the thud factor. Uh, bunches of time. My stuff doesn't sell. Oh, I can certainly relate to my stuff not selling. That was back when I returned indeed. Thing is, okay, the reason why, you need a system, okay? And we're talking about a system that goes, woo, right? First off, you need the easy way, the easy way to follow the I, follow, find the ideas that your customers are going to say, jeepers, my gosh, let me at it. Those profitable ideas that sell, okay? Then you need the templates. Uh, like I had mentioned, I have several templates that make the product creation easy, easy, and simple. So with that out of the way, let us now begin with the first thing that I promised you are going to learn, how to find unlimited ideas for products and never, ever, 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 ever be stuck again. Here's how. I want you to put yourself in the minds of your customers, okay? 
Your customers, well, they want fresh. They want new. They want never before, never seen, never done before, right? I mean, because when you're the first person to come out with an idea, well, you're leading the thundering herd, right? Now, in some uh, areas also, customers want instant cash as well, too, for that matter. And we've all seen products like that, right? So what's the best way to do that? The best way, take your popular platform, all right? Wait a minute, what are some popular platforms? Share them here. What I've come out with is, you know, Facebook. Everybody loves stuff with Facebook, Twitter, uh, mobile. My gosh, how mobile is so exploding. Snapchat, uh, Instagram, Pinterest. That's right, Pinterest or so. And what you want to do is you want to use a crystal ball and find out what is coming down the road. There's two ways you can do this, okay? You can either use your time machine and zoom to the future. And when you do that, my gosh, you're going to have a heck of a product to write about or so. Or, well, hold on to that or, because remember being the first market to market brands you as the being on the cutting edge. So if you don't have the time machine, here's what else you can do. Okay. Visit the news sites. Visit the authority sites. And what you want to do is search for the platform or the idea, like in Facebook, Twitter, and tack on to it, rolling out, or tack on to it, coming soon, or tack on to it, just announced. That's mainly for the news sites, or all, you know, news.google.com. And if you're to search on, for example, Facebook space, quote, rolling out, Facebook space, quote, just announced, Twitter, just announced, et cetera, et cetera, you're going to see what are the new developments coming down the road. And I have done this several times. Do you remember when Google Mail announced that they're going to have the tabs in the inbox? They gave quite a heads up about that, folks. Could you imagine how well a product would have done if you were to say, okay, these tabs are coming, here's how to ensure your email is always seen. Do you remember last year when Google, not Google, it's not Google, what am I thinking of? Facebook, yes, I've heard, you've heard of Facebook, right? When Facebook mentioned they were going to start rolling out offers to their users. I came across that in Google News. I searched on the Warrior Forum. I saw nobody had written about it. I created Secret Facebook Genie on how people can use that, and boom, that was a product of the day. More recently, do you remember about, oh, a month ago or so? Yeah, I think it's been a month because it's been three weeks. No, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, whatever. Warrior Forum, it was announced that freelan uh, Freelancer.com bought the Warrior Forum. We all remember that. I learned about that on a Tuesday. I created the product on a Wednesday. I listed the product on a Thursday, and I believe it got W's of the day on a Friday. How did I do this? Well, it was a new idea. And I was the first to market. Nobody had written anything about it, and it was something with that kind of audience I knew would sell. So the thing that I want you to take away here Always ask yourself, whenever you are considering, I want to write a new product, okay, look for what are, the, what are the new additions, what are the new updates, how can those additions or updates, how can it make my customers money? When you approach product creation that way, my gosh, you're, you're then already stacking success in your favor. Questions so far? Excuse me. All righty. All right. So now we have the idea. This is how you get the products. Okay. But then it's going to sell. All right. Hey, well, let's, let's take an idea. So you have your idea, your product idea. It's now found. All right. The thing you want to do next is then go to the forums, the groups, etc., where that particular idea can be applied. 
For example, I knew that the Facebook offers could definitely be applied because Facebook is tremendous for offline marketing. Facebook offers targeted offline marketing. When you go to these forums and groups, take a look at the questions being asked. And this now is applicable to just about every niche, not just internet marketing. It's applicable to every niche because every niche has popular forums, right? Every niche has thriving communities. Well, in those thriving communities, you're going to get questions that come up again and again and again and again and again. And again. Waha! This is going to be an idea that you can then see if you have or can make a product about that. And Simon brings up a brilliant point. We now all know, so we all do the similar things. And Simon, yes, you are correct. And I am so glad for you bringing this up. When you create a product, unless you're using these techniques that I'm talking about, there's a slight possibility that 592 other people might have come up with the same idea. I'm not talking about future events. I'm talking about how the typical things that you see in forums or so. So yeah, you are sharing the same kind of information. But let me tell you something. People can teach the same thing, but nobody, but nobody can ever duplicate the way you teach the way you come across, the way you inspire, because nobody else is just like you. I mean, let's look at this logically. Have you ever been on a webinar kind of sort of where the host has been giving teaching quite the same way I have? Everybody has their own unique way to teach. Nobody can duplicate what I am teaching. Nobody can duplicate what you're going to teach because we all have our unique way of engaging and exciting our audience. So I hope that answers your question there or statement, Simon. So yes, we examine the questions being asked. So if there's a connection already then, if there's a connection, you have a pretty good idea that your product's going to sell or can sell because then you're giving your customers, another thing to take note here, the benefits, the benefits they never had before. And that's another thing. People talk so much about the features of the products. Who cares about the features of the products besides the product creator? <laughs> Pete, your customers, they want to know the benefits. For example, they don't want to know that the Volvos back in 1980, uh, 80s were shaped like a box. They want to know the benefits or that the Volvos from the 1980s gave the most secure safety possible from cars back of that era. It was the most family safe vehicle one could buy back then. They didn't sell the feature built like a box. They sold the benefits. The people you love the most will be the safest. Always talk about the benefits for your customers. And always, the, the takeaway here, create those products that solve the problems and that make your customers money. So, already, now we let's see, we have our product idea, we have a good idea if it's going to sell or not, so next we need to tackle, how are you going to structure that product? How are you going to structure it so you can write it fast and people are going to love it? Alrighty, that product. You know what you are going to create. And keep in mind here, folks, okay, money, Money Love Speed, you want to be the first to market, ideally. I have been the first to market several times, and uh, it's a lot better than being the second, second to market. Remember, a lot of times, customers, they have short attention spans, especially if this is the first time they're coming across the goodies you have to sell. Sometimes people are going to see you know, your dozens of videos, hundreds of PDF pages, say, oh my gosh. Danger, Will Robinson, danger, information overload. I can't do this. My gosh, why can't you just give me something that only takes five minutes to scan? Well, all right. Give them something that only takes five minutes to scan, okay? And what's that? That is the one problem, one solution. You know, your one power report. At the most, maybe 20 pages, preferably less. Okay, you have one problem, 
or one goal, one solution, three steps, five steps, that's it. Instant boom. Happy customers. And another thing for a light bulb here, sell what your customers want, but then deliver what your customers need. When you start approaching product creation that way, it, it, it changed the playing field. It really, really, really does. So let's not tackle the next thing that I promised I was going to teach you how to do. How do you want to make your product look like a professional design team put it together? So we have our product. It's glorious. It's wondrous. And you are ready to create that amazing, amazing thing. Point number two, money loves speed. Remember, Sunday I came up with an idea. Monday, I wrote the product. Tuesday, I submitted the thread. Tuesday night, it went live. Money loves speed. So what you want to do is just use done-for-you templates. And these are templates that you can even make yourself. This, has anybody here ever heard of this thing called, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Oh, yes, Microsoft Word, Open Office. Did you know? There's hundreds of free templates, Google Docs, that are out there on the, on the internet. You just have to search for Microsoft Word templates. There's book templates, calendar templates, open office templates. You can use templates and then customize and craft it for your own personal use. I have a product report uh, template, which I will be showing later on today. And it is customized now for all of my products. Uh, I just basically have to change the cover image. I have to, yeah, that's really basically all I do. I, well, I change the cover image and I change the sidebar image and then I write my product and boom, my product is done. Done for you templates. The headers and footers, the automatic things there, already done. The appendices, the about you, the future resources, already done. You take these free templates that you find online and then you just have to change them for yourself. The report creation, uh, the graphics templates or so. And oh, uh, Dave asks, is there a reason you don't go with traditional 3D e-covers in favor of the flat ones? Yes, because my flat ones, they have a drop shadow. I love my drop shadows. And that's just, it's just something that I myself do. I like doing the uh, vivid uh, flat cover that has my, my love drop shadow there but yes you can also do the 3d3 uh barber talk take two let's try that again <clears throat> you can also do the 3d create product creation images as well too it's totally up to what you want to do so what i want you to do later on take your prior reports okay generalize them save that bam you have an instant template so this is the most important takeaway the more interchangeable parts that you have in your products, the easier product creation becomes. Now, let me ask you here. Put your answers in the answer box, all right? What components can you put into a template for product creation? Come on, let me see. Share your ideas. I mean, there's the product, um, let's see, the call to action, CTA, disclaimer page from Barbara, good. Table of contents, photos, sales page, buy buttons. Excellent, excellent. Gail, Susan, Deanna, thank you so much there. You know what? You're all, it's, nobody has yet to mention this. I'm waiting. See, we have privacy, benefits, section, header style. Yep, title. Yep, yep. Meet your other products. Yep, videos. Yep, styles. Yep, yep, yep. Fonts, etc. Social media snippets. Boy, you guys, you folks are doing really good here. Um, and you're all talking about the components of products that get delivered. That's very cool. What about components of uh, actual creation? Components of directory structures. Components that make it easier that once you finish something, all you have to do is zip it up. I mean, that's really not part of the product itself. It's part of the creation process. And you can even make a template for that as well, too which is something else that I teach in the 3 Mastermind I'll be talking about. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. And here it's the favorite thing. Oh, oh, are you all sitting down? I hope you're all sitting down. I, I'll guarantee some of you folks are standing up. And no, you got to sit down. You're sitting down? You are sitting down, right? Good, sitting down. How Okay. Bonus. And this is something I have just started recently doing myself. And oh, do I love this. It's uh, contributed towards you know, my 27% conversion on some upsells, my 30% conversion on my latest upsell. How to sell more upsells after the fact. So we're talking about you release a product. People buy the front end and they get into your funnel, right? And they say, oh, wow, look at this upsell or this one-time offer or this gold package. And they say, nah, I don't think so. But then all of a sudden, the heavens part. And a heavenly choir starts to sing, la, and people start to buy your upsell. But it's been a day has passed. Two days have passed even. How does that happen? So you launch your product. Gold upsell, right? And so well, what happens? Be, uh, customers don't buy the upsell then and there. I mean, that, that's, that's just a very sad thing, right? Because everybody who is doing quality product creation, their upsells, their gold sells, gold versions, upsells, one-time offer, that's something that either simplifies or automates or scales. It's something that customers really should be buying to make their whatever it is easier, right? here's what you do. One of the things you can do is you mention, oh, by the way, have you seen the gold upsell in your this particular product? So for example, on your first page or second page, by the way, want to see how to automate this? By the way, want to see how to simplify this? By the way, want to see how to scale this? Check out the gold version of product XYZ. My last uh, products, they have that on either the first or second page. They have it in the closing. Uh, they have it elsewhere, which I'll share at another time. But that also, also contributes to people buying your upsell. This is just one way. And it works really, really, really good. So what's the takeaway here? Takeaway is you always want to give your customers the opportunities to get that value that your upsells are going to deliver. So let me now recap what you have just learned. You have learned how to find unlimited ideas for the products, how you never ever get stuck again. You've learned how to figure out if the product's going to sell even before you create it. And just think of how much time you're going to be saving with that. Think of how great it is never to spend all of those hours and weeks and months or so creating a product just to hear the crickets chirping. You've learned the secret for how to structure your product so that it's very simple to create uh, that, and also that people will love what they get. You've learned about the technique to make the product looks as though it's put together professionally, beautifully, and that wonderful bonus, how to sell more of the upsells after the fact. And again, remember, what I mentioned was just one of the ways that I currently do. And, you know, this works for me, okay? But that, who cares that the fact it works for me? That's, that's irrelevant. The question is, can this work for you? And, well, can it work? Well, of course it can, okay? Uh, the stuff that I have taught, these shortcuts, uh, these ways of building your online success, I mean, I am known for making things simple. And think about what you've just learned. Pretty simple, isn't it? I have taken product creation, I've distilled it into some pretty simple parts, right? Um, the mastermind products uh, that I have released in the past, for example, authority uh, product creation, the LinkedIn monetizing fa free Facebook groups, RSS, etc., etc., all of them, extremely successful, fantastic reviews. The fact is, and the fact is you have seen it, even this past week with the WSO of the day that I received for my latest, I know the art of fast product creation. I know the art of easy product creation and the people I teach, they learn it grand, very, very well from me. Let me show you a bit of that. One of my students here, that's uh, Tamara, she took 
Product Creation 2.0, uh, last Saturday, my gosh, what was that, five days ago, she took this, this is the boot camp for Product Creation 2.0, and she uses the techniques that I teach. And all she did was she put up a simple PayPal button, $20, and then by Tuesday she told me she had over 100 sales. That's $2,000 just by putting up the simple PayPal button and letting her audience know, hey, there it is. And then consider another one of my students, okay? This is uh, Alessandro. Now, he took product creation, uh, Caffeine the Bootcamp 1.0. He took that on a Friday and then used some of the techniques and the additional ones that I share to find a really cool idea. He wrote his product on Saturday and Sunday. He launched it on a Monday. And again, this was before the mastermind from uh, 1.0 and then ended up selling 266 copies. And then also, finally, another one of my students, Andrea, she attended the product creation uh, caffeine call that I had given. And this was what she had then said. Uh, Can't contain myself after the call last night. She sat down. She created a product. Still the sales page to do, but my gosh, Barbara makes this process so easy. It's like firecrackers and strobe lights going off in my head. And you've probably seen her now uh, during the uh, from then up until now or such. There, I mean, there's just no stopping this woman. And it just, the light bulbs, they go off. So let me now ask you, does this mean that right now that you're going to see the, the same success? And well, unfortunately, uh, the chances are probably not. And granted, you definitely will have a level of success, okay? But the thing that's missing right now is that mentor, the mentor to walk you through the complete Roadmap, okay, and this is the one that took me over 34 months now to devise because remember, okay, I want you to remember this. I have just showed you how to find the quality product ideas, how to ensure they're going to sell even before you create them, how to write your products quick, how to make it look professional, and even that bonus of how to increase the upsell sales. And you know, yeah, I bet you're sitting down now and, and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what you're thinking right now. And you're right, okay? Product creation, it really is just the beginning. Because to seriously become a long-term quality product crea uh, creator and then basically have that life, that you lifestyle that you want, yep, here's the sales letter and the compelling copy in that sales letter. Planning out your product launch, building the excitement, the buzz, networking, networking with affiliates. And well, the good news, okay, is that all of this, all of this I have just fine-tuned fine -tuned down to something simple and effective or so. So is this something that you probably would, would like to learn about? So remember that I had mentioned in the past past. Uh, this call, sorry about that, that I've designed those Surefire templates, the processes, the graphics. So let me now ask you, do you want all of that done for you while I walk with you step by step through the Profitable Product Creation 2.0? I mean, does this sound like something that might be pretty beneficial to you? So with that, Allow me to introduce to you Product Creation Espresso version 2.0. This is an immersion three-week mastermind co course. And this basically is going to help tame product creation. It's going to make it work specifically for you. And, and honestly, this is like you having me on retainer for three weeks to ask questions and then guide you on what really is required with product creation. Not only just creating products to put out there, but to both brand you as an authority in your niche and eventually rinsing and repeating to enable you to live, live that life that you choose. Let me now tell you what it is specifically you're going to learn in this three-week uh, immersion mastermind. 
We're going to talk and deliver the best product creation 2.0 mindset and templates. And by the way, that part, it's already waiting there for you. We're going to learn about the product creation of 2.0, the network of the affiliate networking, sales copy ideas, the launch rockets. I have a product. I'm getting ready to launch it. Well, all right. How many days do you put for your launch? I spell out a 28-day launch cycle that just increases the amount of sales and profits your launches are able to make. And of course, there's also more that you'll be learning in this. And I need to also tell you, though, that's not all that you get. You also are going to receive the access to the private mastermind group it's a closed group right now, and also three weekly web classes. So each week, I'm going to break everything down into the beginning, the middle, the end of effective product creation, affiliate networking, launch, follow-up, and such in three weeks where answers to all of your questions are going to be given. So let me now recap, okay? You're going to be get, you're going to, yeah, Barbara's going to learn to talk. You will be getting the fast track, product creation, 2.0 ignition, the blueprint, the private, the custom templates. And again, this is all ready. It is all waiting right now in that private Facebook group. The source files I had mentioned, the three weekly web classes that start next week. And I want you also to keep in mind here that once these classes, they're all completed, goal is I'm going to polish them, put them together, put them up at a far higher price than what you're going to be seeing later on. But let me pause now and ask you the following. Could you please imagine, what if all of your product creations, what if they were all able to be answered during the next three weeks by a proven product creation master? And folks, I, I walk the walk, I talk. You've seen it this past week. You've seen it three weeks ago. Heck, you've seen it since probably you've you first started hearing about me. Put a number on that value, okay? Put a number on how beneficial it will be to have folks like me, other quality product creators, answer your product creations, okay? Are you starting to see just how valuable? Are you starting to understand what it would be like to create these product quality products quickly, effectively, and then start creating that lifestyle for your family and you to enjoy. Let me now give you an in-depth breakdown, okay, of what you're going to learn, okay? First week, we're going to talk about the best mindset and the best product creation 2.0 templates. Secret number one, I'm going to talk about how you go into timely, into timeless. In other words, how you ensure your products keep delivering you profits and value even after the launch is over. Then I'm going to talk to you about, and this is one of my favorites, steal this product. You, have you heard sometimes products get put up on black hat sites? Uh, ever wish you knew how to monetize that? I show you how. Then I'm going to talk about that whole concept of the Model Ts, the components into to, to the powerful ideas. I'm going to talk about upsells, how to make them simple. I'm going to talk about how you can begin to brand yourself as a product creator. I mean, you might have noticed that Barb Ling has branded herself a little bit with, oh, besides product creation, coffee and other things or so. It's not by mistake I have done this. I have a set process that I talk about and demonstrate. And then I'm going to close week one with a bonus secret that's going to enable you to just double your profits. So this give the first week, it gives you all the tools that you need to create your uh, quality products quickly and effectively. So then we move into week two. Week two is the affiliate networking and the sales copy. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is how to appeal to affiliates. I mean, isn't it great when you can appeal to affiliates, but how do you? How do you actually get that connection out there? I talk about that. I talk about methods that show where you become a desired affiliate marketer, not a desperate affiliate marketer. 
I'm going to talk to you about how you can use other social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, etc., to brand yourself and your products online. I am going to take away features. I'm going to replace them with benefits. Because yeah, features are great. As product creators, we love our, we love our features. So we worship our features. Our customers couldn't give a damn about our features. Excuse me, a darn about our features. They want the benefits. So I'm going to talk to you how you derive those. I'm going to give you another doubling of your uh, profits with this particular affiliate networking technique. And then this is really cool. The customer care profits. And that's something that I have not, I didn't really touch upon greatly, although I did hint at it during this class. Uh, this is something that, wow, I've now been releasing all of my past products with this, and it works, works utterly, utterly beautifully. So this week, okay, so we're talking to you about compelling affiliates, those wonderful people who are going to get those leads into your funnels. And so then your sales get to be high, 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 and from that thingamabob, second week, mind you, you then launch into your launch rockets. Product creation 2.0 launch rockets. <sighs> I'm going to talk about download pages. Not only do I make them simple, but I also make them profitable for you as well. I'm going to talk about that 28-day launch factor goodness that you can incorporate. I'm going to talk about techniques so you can write your email swipes so that more and more affiliates can promote your product to their list no matter what internet marketing niche they focus on. I'm going to give you ideas for your affiliate contests because, yeah, there are a lot of folks who love affiliate contests and there are ways to do it effectively so you don't have to give out $1,000 for the first winner, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to give you some more advanced techniques to increase your profits from the overall product launch. And then at the very end of this three-week utter goodness, I'm going to show you where to go from there. Wow. And again, don't forget, these next three weeks, you are going to have me all three weeks to personally answer all of your questions. So right now, you're probably saying to yourself, jeeper self, how much? I mean... Well, you know, this is now version 2.0, brand new, brand new ideas from the past year that I have done of creating products. These are the techniques that I now use myself. I've secured WSO of the day, product of the day. I have been able to do a less than 36 hour turnaround from conception to sales page being up and sales being made. Can you begin to Im imagine how well this works? So, yep. $797, that would be an extraordinarily reasonable ask to, price to ask. But nope, not going to ask that, okay? So now let me ask you the following. What would this be worth? All right, let's say that now you've, you've mastered this art. Uh, three weeks have passed. You know how to do it. You rinse it. You repeat it. You're adding now to your previous affiliates who are promoting your products, the previous list you've built, the customers and so we're talking now multiple streams of income because what I'm going to be teaching you, your products don't just get put on the shelves. I mean, how many people here, they release a product or think about a product and then three or four days after the launch is done, it just sits there and nothing else is, co is completed with it. Multiple streams of income. So think about being able to take your family, the, the vacations that you want, being able to take care of your kids, your parents. $597, that's getting, that's extraordinarily reasonable. But nope, that's not going to be the price either here. So let me now ask you, what are, would you possibly do with these benefits? What would you do after you see more of your upsells selling when you, when you release your front-end products? What would you do? After seeing more affiliates are starting to promote your launches, getting more and more people into your funnels, giving you more and more opportunities to market to them in the future. What would you do to, with the benefit of being the first? The first to market with ideas that just fly off the shelves even more. 
what would you do if you were able then to evolve into selling a $997 product as well? What would you do with these benefits? I know what I would do with these benefits. I'm living it right now, but that's not important. What would you do with these benefits? And so, yeah, $497, we're talking insanely reasonable, but nope, that's not the price either. Okay, and yeah, this is right now a limited time offer. And I know that so many people, when they buy in, into products and masterminds or so, they want to see the success that they deserve. And so I haven't created this product for folks who already know how to do this. I haven't created this for the six-figure, the seven-figure marketers. This is the course that I personally have created for folks who want to get a break, for folks who want to have it simplified, made easy, want to have their lives change, want to be able to enhance the lives of others. And yeah. I want a small group, a small group of folks that I can teach because this offer will be closed when it gets too large. And you know, well, you've been on this call now for over an hour. Uh, you've chosen to listen and learn from what it is I have to teach. So I am getting ready to make a very special offer right now. I've opened up 101 spots for those people now who are watching this call. So who here wants to find out? Who here wants to find out how much this is going to be? I need to see a lot of yeses here. Okay, I see Tom says yes and Stan says yes. And uh, there were Joan with a yes there. And okay, lots and lots of yeses. Okay, so how much? All right. Right now, you can get complete total access to the product creation 2.0 Espresso Mastermind for a one-time payment of only $297, but because you're on this call right now, I do have that special bonus for you. So before I give that bonus or coupon link and such, let me tell you what this specific bonuses include. This class bonus number one, Remember I told you about uh, product creation report templates? This is the own report template that I've used now for all of the reports that I've created th this uh, past year. So that value here is $97. And you'll notice what's kind of cool. I say volume one of XYZ, product name, simple to change and modify. Then also the JV template that when I do go out to get JVs onto my uh, product launches, this is what I myself use. And the value here of that of also $97. Bonus number three, which is kind of sort of cool. I'm not giving not only not just one, two of the entire source contact, content of my of uh, product creation that I have done for WSO of the day, and one of them even includes the source files for JV videos as well, too. And that value, $197. That's my source, okay? That's, the, that's my graphics, my source files. Bonus number four. And this is now updated for product creation uh, 2.0, the product creation mind map, where if you basically want to see everything visually, I have it spelled out for you in all 17 steps required. And this is really, really, really cool. Now, you might not be aware of it, but my retainer fee for the year is $15,000 for the month is $2,000, but I also do run a paid mastermind group class as well. Uh, where the investment for that is $497 per month. But the thing I want to share with you, in that mastermind class, every week or so, I'll give special classes just for my members. And this one is how to add a $997 product to what it is you have to sell. And the answer to this is just so simple. It, it, <laughs> It's, it's pretty darn cool or so. So the value here, $97 as well, because guaranteed 
when you've started creating products and you're building your reputation, you have that instant $997 product that you can put out there. And then, of course, there is the Product Creation 2.0 Bootcamp. I had mentioned that earlier. I had given this last week. Everything I talk about in product creation, if you want to get started right away and you want the call that was given then, right now, that is going for, and you can check the sales page, $197. And that is currently waiting for you in the free, uh, well, not free, the closed Facebook Mastermind group as well. All right, so we got six bonuses here. Okay, six bonuses, but yeah, bad news. These bonuses, they're, they're not for everybody here. And the, seriously, I like, taking, I like teaching action takers, all right? So I like reserving these bonuses solely for people who are going to say, yeah, I want to do this, okay? People like Tamara, Alessandro, Andrea, these are the kind of people, you know, that I just love teaching. And so right now, action takers, here you are. You have the opportunity to relieve, receive at least $782 worth of bonuses. But, you know, here's the thing, okay? What helps you increase sales? Well, what helps you increase sales is when you have that sales letter, the sales letter that converts. And what you're also going to get is a critique by one of the most popular copywriters in our industry. I mean, this guy wrote for Stompernet. Uh, he speaks at marketing events and more. Actually, this is the seventh action taken bonus. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, Colin Therio had done a sales letter critique of my product. I paid him $500 for this product creation ignition. And yeah, that's included as well. So, folks, Listen up here, okay? You're about to get over $1,200 worth of bonuses if you're quick enough. And remember the benefits, the benefits that this is all going to teach you. So the final price for you folks who are listening here, we're not talking 397 we're not talking 317 we're not even talking $277. And honestly, I know. The number one thing everybody is always afraid about is the price you want to make sure it's affordable for the quality that you're getting so product creation uh, espresso three-week mastermind is only a hundred and ninety seven dollars for all of that okay so here's how this works okay the first 25 buyers you're going to get everything and this is the link to which you go let me go drop it in now ask bling.com forward slash get pces pre 20 so get PCES pre-20. Visit that link right there. The next 25 buyers, you're only going to get th uh, three of the bonuses mentioned. The next 25, two. And the last 26, you'll get the original package. Um, so right now, what's your next step? Next step, go to askbling.com forward slash get PCESP RE20. And remember earlier at the very beginning, uh, talking about creating passwords of, of 10 characters or so? Remember also, too, this does come with the following guaranteed, OK? I definitely want you to be 100% thrilled with everything that you learned during the course of this mastermind. So if you show me you've put the steps into action, show me the products you've made, show me the steps you have taken through this, then if you're not 100% thrilled, okay, I will give you your money back. And the only thing that I'm going to ask, I'd, I'd like to know why, because honestly, this is a total no-brainer at $797, and it's only $197. Always looking to impress customer satisfaction, but knowing this, this is going to help me help you. So I want you to tell me now that you're in, okay? I mean, this is something that is just going to totally change your product creation abilities or so. So tell me you're in and see, Tom says, I'm in, I'm in. Excellent, excellent. So make sure, and Kat says in, excellent. Gordon, glad to see you. Make sure you sign up now because this offer, it is limited. Uh, I reserve the right to shut it down. Um, 
if this gets too big, so make sure you get in now. So askbling.com forward slash get PCE SPRE20 because remember the most important thing. This is the most powerful secret that I can possibly give you, and it's this. If you want something, if you are tired of where you are currently now, if you want things to change, you and only you can make things happen. If you want it, you are in the ones. You are the one to see the success. In other words, it is up to you to take control. And with that, we can go for questions and answers right now. And let's see, Joan mentions you'd be work a full-time job. See, one of the benefits to putting this all into a three-week mastermind is that the questions that are asked, they're always there. You can log into the group. I will be giving replays for all of the three-week uh, classes, all of the class every week. The replays will be there. The PowerPoints will be there. The templates, uh, the templates will be there. So, yeah, this is something that can definitely help your product creation success. So, what other, what other questions do you all have here? Uh, feel free to ask your questions, and let me now go and see what else we have. Other questions that are on here. Okay. Hmm. Wait, did that just change? Well, let me go and activate now the questions on here. Okay, let's see. GTG. I'm scrolling now from the. T Maybe if I scroll down from the bottom and scroll out. Okay, how long does it take? Mike asks, how long does it take to write your products in general? When I didn't really know what I was doing, uh, maybe, oh, I don't know, two days or so. Now that I have it fine-tuned down, it takes me maybe two to three hours at tops. Because, again, remember, what I teach, simple product creation, one problem, one solution, less than 20 pages. Remember, it's not about the thud factor. It is about the actionable factor. It is about the, yeah, I want to be able to give something to my customers that they can see and implement within 10 minutes. And it really doesn't take long to create something like that. And Joan asks, can I do this in uh, two hours a day? Well, Joan, you know yourself best, OK? And if you can commit to doing the process that I teach in less than in two hours a day, certainly. This is something, it's, it's not rocket science. It's using a streamlined product creation technique. Uh, I hope that answers your questions there. And let's see, Tony asks, what is the desired time required for me during the three weeks starting next week? Well, ideally, Tony, you're going to want to listen to the calls, <laughs> OK? You're going to want to take the techniques that I share and then put them into action. You know yourself best. You know how you can best commit to saying, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to rate my product, and I'm going to get it out there. Uh, Val mentions excellent webinar. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Joan says, how long would that take? Joan, I, did I answer that question for you? OK, Mandy asks, will this work in other niches? Not I am. And oh, gosh, yes. This definitely works in other niches as well, because you find the popular forums, you find the popular communities, you build your reputation as an expert and then build the networking within that time. And let's see. Now, when your students sold 100 copies and 227 copies of their products, were they all from affiliate sales? <laughs> Alex, that's a great question. Tamara's product was not affiliates. She, her product was simply a PayPal button. So she so sold them all. Alessandro's products, I, uh, that 266 products or so, a portion of that was from affiliates because he learned profitable affiliate networking. Again, remember that when you invest today in the three mastermind, you are also getting access to the product creation boot camp that I taught last Saturday that has all the mind maps, that has the blueprint already there waiting for you. And see, when will a polished package of the course be available? I do not know at this time. 
Uh, that time, I, I do not know. Payment confirmed, so Stokes says, Cap. Excellent, excellent. It's just what I need to move forward. Thank you so much. Really glad to be providing this for you. Let's see what other questions we have here. Uh, why is this not scrolling up? Okay, here we go. D -d -d. Uh, let's see. Okay, what if some of us are newbies, might not even have the various mechanisms in place? Will this course still be applicable and understandable? Oh, yes, by all means, definitely understandable and definitely applicable, even if you have not done product creation before. I mean, Andrea, the, one of the people that I mentioned, didn't. This was her first time of putting together a product. And you might, if you're in picking up products, you would have heard of Hangout uh, Curation. That was her product that she learned from teach it, from what I taught. Okay, can you put the sales link to the page here? Thank you. Um, okay, I thought I did, but let me put it again. HTTP colon slash slash askfeeling.com. Get P-C-E-S-P-R-E 2-0. There it is. Let me continue scrolling up, and then I'll scroll down again. Let's see. Again, please share, ask any questions or so. Okay. Dave asked, what if you don't have much of an audience? Uh, you start building an audience. Uh, you start networking with affiliates who have that audience. That's one of the benefits for affiliate marketing and networking with other affiliate marketers because they have the audience. You just need to network with them successfully and uh, promote the uh, product effectively as well too. Let me continue on that. Let's see. Uh, let's see, summary of benefits. Okay, that was of what one can do with templates. Other questions. And let's see, payment options. Gail asked what the payment options are. Uh, PayPal. PayPal is our, our payment options or so. Okay, and Genesis, complete beginner that has no list, no niche, nothing. Well, with this course, you're going to learn how to create the products you're going to learn how to network with the affiliates. Then that takes care of getting the product out to people because, again, the affiliates have the list. But the cool thing, oh, and let me share this. I haven't emphasized that a whole lot. When you're talking about product creation and you think about putting a product out there, how many times do you think, ooh, product out there, I'm going to make money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, yeah, that, that's great. That's a wonderful thing. But the real benefits for your front end products, and I'm going to really be hammering this home and talking in this about this in detail during the next three weeks. The main benefit is not releasing your product. The main benefit is creating the follow-up funnels. The main benefit is you're getting leads into your overall system. You're not just creating products and letting them stay on the shelves. Those products you make, they're going to be beneficial to you. One day, one week, one month, months down the road. That's one of the main benefits. So I don't want you to think about, I create a product, I release it on the Warrior Forum or self-hosted, and then a week later, it never sells again. No. What I'm going to teach you is you've created your product, but then, sure, your main sales will come dur during that first initial push, but afterwards, sales will still come through your funnel. And that's what that's one of the best aspects of uh, version 2.0 here, because I'm really fine-tuning that. I've been doing that now with the, uh, my past products, and yeah, works really, really, really good. So other questions, other questions here, and I'll be happy to answer them. Let me scroll up while uh, you folks are typing. Anything about product creation? Okay, still scrolling up here. And let's see, the link was already there. Other questions that you might have here. All right, um, Tom asked about product covers. How do you get those product covers? Well, one of the templates that I'm offering in the uh, three-week mastermind is my product creation cover template. It's a PSD file. If you use uh, Photoshop or the open source editors, you can, you can edit it in there, or you can simply go to Fiverr and pay somebody $5 to change your product creation uh, cover. That's very, very simple as well. Good question. 
All right. Okay, Susan asks, how do you create those three or five steps? Very good question, and I'm going to be talking a lot about that in the three weeks, but basically what you want to do is you find that solution or you find that coming attraction or you find that coming down the road. Like, for example, let me see, about half a year ago, Facebook mentioned how they're going to add 5 billion more people uh, to uh, the Internet. And I think they're doing this via mobile, mobile parts, smartphones or so. So you say to yourself, okay, there are going to be 5 billion more people online. Well, that's really cool. It's coming down. How can I make that into a solution? Well, 5 billion more people, that means then you're getting more customers for offline marketing, for example or more customers you can market to. So that could be, what's the problem? I need to get more people into my offline business. Well, here's the solution. Five billion more people coming. How can we monetize that as well? Okay, uh, let's see. And other questions here so here? And yeah, Gordon, I'm going to be, uh, you have to be accepted first into the Facebook class, uh, I mean into the uh, Facebook group, I will get, and that's where you will be getting the, uh, all of the downloads and the uh, webinar class schedules. Just hang on for a second while I'm on this call. And let's see, and let's see, Manny says, I am just not ready at this point. Will you be reopening in another three months time? Uh, don't know. Possibly yes, possibly no. Don't know. Uh, let's see what other here. The complete beginner, no list, no nothing. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I talked about that. All right. What other questions do we have here? We still have a tremendous number of people on this call. Other questions that might be coming up. Let's see. Wait. Uh, Patricia asks. Can you include affiliate links in your products? And actually, you know, that is a very, very good question. And I will always include affiliate links in my products as well. Not only affiliate links to additional resources, but I will also monetize my products by including links to other products I've created in the past. So the appendices might say recommended resources where the first five or 10 might be resources you can find for free online. And then maybe the next two will be direct affiliate links to other products as well too. Very good. Alrighty, uh, Joan asks, I want to market to older boomers. Will that, this work for me? And again, Joan, it is the way that you choose to implement the process. Because again, remember that this is a very serious product creation course. It's easy to put together the products, but then there's the getting yourself into the niches that you want to sell to. So for example, if you want to promote to older boomers, and that's like me, you know, older boomer, uh, network, become the expert or network with the people who have those communities and promote your product there. So yes, it definitely would work in that as well. And let's see, Kat asks, already bought so much included advice on what to focus first other than listen to the webinar. I have a product that just needs tweaking. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, Kat, that's an excellent part uh, question. What I would recommend, the first thing to focus of is the structure of your product. Is your product structured so that is step one, step two, step three? Are you planning on using affiliates? If you're planning on using affiliates, refer to the affiliate section of, of the product creation call. Uh, if you're focusing solely on the product structure itself, the headers, the footers, making sure that all of your PDF, um, links in your PDF are active, that's what I would basically uh, work on first. What's your uh, product on so far? That just needs tweaking. Feel free to share that. Okay. And let me also scroll up to see what else we have here. Yeah, let's go to the beginning and scroll down. 
Okay, true. Okay, we went through the thud factor there. And Okay, and Susan mentioned that you have followers and make money on them. Well, uh, yeah, a lot of people, there's a lot of people in my network. Uh, there's a lot of people who buy my products. There's a lot of people who purchase from my affiliate link. A couple of things when you're thinking about uh, product creation. There's the front end. There's the upsell. Then there's other ways to monetize as well, too. Other ways to include bonuses that add to the perceived value for your front end. For example, you folks might be, uh, be familiar with my current group, Perking Up Profits. But did you also know, uh, know that prior to that, I had a group called I Am Hackers. And that was Internet Marketing Hackers, which is basically hacks to make internet marketing a lot easier. That was included as a bonus to several of my products uh, months and months and months ago. So people would buy, and then they'd have this extra forum in which they could ask their questions as well. Worked very, very well. See, you need to remember, successful product creation is not just making products. Granted, making products is fun and exciting and, and lots of all of that, but that's not, that's not it by, by any means. You make your products, but then you can also promote them on Pinterest. You can promote them on Facebook. You can create free Facebook groups, promote them there as well. What about your uh, follow-up marketing? How many people here have lists? How many people here promote your lists? I promote to my lists. I promote in rather unique ways that just continues to include people buying from my links to my products in the future. And let's see, Kat says, six easy steps to creating a foolproof lead tracking system. Gosh, that's something, something I need to have. That sounds like a pretty good product. I'll definitely be interested in seeing how that works. Definitely share that. So other questions, other product creation questions. Remember here, I came up with the idea for my recent WSO of the day on Sunday. And Sunday is normally the day that I take off as well. I, I vividly remember this. I, I was uh, resting in my room. I had my kids. They made me my salad. They cut me my mango. Sundays are salad and mango days, by the way. and. I was just thinking about product creation. You see, I've been making products now for, oh gosh, I don't know, since the Renaissance time. And you know, you have your product and you put it out there and that creates a list, right? We all have our lists. But what if you want to have lists that, well, one list you promote affiliate products to. Another list you promote customer care follow-ups to. Another list you promote something else to. How do you keep that all in track? And someday, I thought of a way to do that. But to do that, well, I needed a product to test it out on. So Monday, I wrote it. Tuesday, I put it out there. Wednesday, I got WSO of the day. Three days for total, from conception to buy button to getting WSO of the day. Ask yourself. If you had those kind of skills, and they're very easy to learn, they really, really are, how quickly would you be able to put out your products? How quickly would you then be able to build out your follow-up funnels? I mean, the way I'm doing products now is so totally different than last year, and it's really, really, really profitable, really, really, really benefited, and it's something that anybody can do. It's not rocket science, folks. This is simply knowing what works best and how to implement it. And the three-week mastermind class, I mean, it, I give you the templates. I give you the tools. And then I'm also there to answer your questions. Total no-brainer. I mean, and it's not even the $797 that is something that really should be charged. Again, it's less than a third of that only, $197. And remember, too. This price will increase the day of the first class, which, by the way, is next Tuesday. The price will go up. So right now, this is the lowest price you can get, Product Creation 2.0 Espresso. The price is only going to increase.
So other questions. We still have a lot of people on the call here, and I'm happy to chat. Any questions that you have regarding product creation? And oh, okay. Here's here's a good one. But uh, do you recommend a particular way or place to store product access? Uh, Amazon S3. Oh, did you know you can also use Amazon S3 for other things besides product creation? Uh, you can also use it for your sales pages. <laughs> uh, did you, I remember when I released Secret Facebook Genie, and you always hear it crashed the server. Unfortunately, in my case, it actually crashed my server. And you know, if your sales page is crashed, kind of, sort of, nothing comes up, and people can't buy, and it gets really unhappy, so I had to very quickly, in five minutes or so, port my sales page up to Amazon S3. So I have a standalone server as well, where I store all of my stuff, and there's also ways to secure your S3 uh, storage too. So very good question on that. And Kat mentions, never thought about using Amazon S3 for sales pages. Uh, yeah, yeah, neither did I until I realized that I didn't have a server or a sales page. And yeah, that, that wasn't fun. <laughs> but, you know, these things happen. Life happens. You turn on a dime. Uh, in product creation, it, honestly, it's something that the way I teach it, it gets you out of that analysis paralysis. It gets rid of the fear. Because you might say to yourself, okay, self, I have this great idea for a product, but what if it doesn't sell? I mean, can all of you, all of you folks who are still on the call, and wow, there's quite a number of you, can you relate to that, that fear, uh, that fear of, well, what if I make something that doesn't sell? I mean, isn't it better than not to launch it? And it's comforting, you know, if you don't face that fear, because you can always excuse yourself by saying, well, I have a great idea, but I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready. Well, guess what? You can't take the product, you put it out there, it totally flops. Okay, well, you can put it up as a bonus on, a back end, uh, on the back end for another launch. You could put it up for as a bonus for somebody signing up to your mailing list. You can cut apart that product or at least use the template that you used for other future things. There is no such thing. And stay with me here, okay, because this is really important. There's no such thing as failure in product creation because I guarantee you, you take that step, you put something out there, you are so far ahead of everybody else who has yet to just put a buy button on the Internet because once you've done it the first time, once you've faced your fears, oh, my gosh. Things get so much easier, so much easier, because it's not a failure. You're just taking the next step to your future success. And yeah, I have had products that did not sell. It happens. Life happens. You move on. You use them as bonuses for other things. You cut them apart. You make up the templates. You put them on as follow-up autoresponders. Always oh, product reuse, component reuse. That's why we do templates because it's so easy to just use again in the future. All right, JJ asks, is this good for a non-WSO type product? I'm a weight loss mindset expert and always thought of WSOs as TT Tech Talk products. Um, yeah, I hear you on that too. And well, think about this. Are you familiar with um, Turbo Training, I think it's called? Uh, the TT, it was out there since the late 1990s or so, uh, Craig Ballantyne and such. He sure comes up with a whole lot of uh, non-internet non marketing products. Wouldn't you agree? So, yeah, if you're coming up with the one product, one solution, and you can apply it to weight loss, you can apply it to confidence, you can section it out to, well, okay, I... Oh, I don't know. Let's pick a non-WSO one. How about dating? Dating secrets for men. Dating secrets for women. Dating secrets for boomers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Quick, effective. You get people into your funnel. And again, when I talk about funnel, I don't just mean the product funnel. I don't. I really don't. No, 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 no. I mean you get them into your follow-up customer care long-term communications. Because think about this. If you're delivering tremendous quality from the get-go 
and you keep delivering week after week and month after month, it just becomes more of a no-brainer. Well, hey, when this person releases something in the niche that I'm interested in, I'm going to buy. So yes, this definitely does uh, is applicable on that. And let's see. The webinars are, they're going to start next Tuesday at 11 o'clock Eastern uh, Standard Time. Good, good. And uh, Joan just mentioned, I'd love to have my first product even if it fails. I just bought into your course. Wonderful, Joan. Uh, when this call is done, I'm going to welcome everybody, welcome everybody in. And uh, JJ mentions uh, feedback on fear, no real failure with product creation, my main issue. Oh, it's, I so can relate to that. And it really, so many people have those kinds of concerns. It's it's not only fear that holds people back, right? What about, how many people here can relate to this? All right, I bet you're all going to start nodding your heads. As a matter of fact, just start nodding your heads now, okay? Because you're all going to agree with this. Perfection. How many people think, well, I need to make my product perfect before I put it out there? And you don't. You, your product does not have to be perfect. What your product has to do is it has to be able to benefit the reader. You don't need perfection for that, okay? You need actionable solutions. They don't have to be perfect. You don't have to just keep waiting and waiting and adding and adding. And, and how many people here also, have you ever dealt with this thing? You come up with an idea, and then you come up with another idea. And then you come up with another idea. And then three, seven ideas later, oh, hello, Moose. Moose Major just walked in, and he's turning around, and he's laying now down into his cave. Um, you come up with all of these other ideas, and then your 15, 20-page report all of a sudden becomes 70 or 80 pages or so. And then you keep on adding and adding, and yeah, really frustrating. Really frustrating. And Simon mentions um, distractions. H how's this for a distraction? How many people here have the distractions of BSOs, bright, shiny objects? You know, when I get into product creation mode, uh, I will just put things on hold. Because bright, shiny objects are very tempting. I have to admit, they're, they're nice, they're bright, and they're shiny, and they're sparkly. and and they give you reasons not to face your fears. They give you reasons to just keep spinning your wheels. Because, I mean, face it, it's comfortable spinning your wheels, isn't it? I mean, if you give in to fears, if you stay where you are, that's, you're, you're not expanding your comfort boundaries, right? You're, go, you're, you're staying where you are. And, yeah, that is comforting. But it doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't take you to the next level like this course is going to do. It Staying where you are, giving in to your fears, same day, same week, same month, what changes? I mean, let me ask you here. If you're thinking about successful product creation, do you want to stay where you currently are now? I mean, you can. I mean, you don't have to take advantage of uh, this special deal right now. You can stay where you are, but what does your future deserve? What does your family deserve? What does your future business making six figures a year? You have to start somewhere. And this course g gives you that ability. And let's see, Anne says, thanks. Looking forward to the course. Looking forward to seeing you there. And let's see, what does Tracy say? If your product is health-related, should you foot, put footnotes to the research you were referring to in a product? Footnotes are always good. Active links that uh, you can use to call out, uh, the, that is, I'm sorry, your customers can use for more information. Yep, yep, definitely, you should uh, definitely include that. You know you can also include videos in your products as well, too. I talk about that in, uh, actually, I think I talk about that in the boot camp, too, that's waiting for you right now. Or so, and, uh, okay, Gordon mentions it's 1 a.m., got a crash. Okay, Gordon, uh, when you wake up, you will get uh, the access to the uh, Facebook group. Looking forward to getting products out. Excellent. 
Okay, and uh, Mandy mentioned, thank you, great webinar, thanks so much. Uh, well worth the hour and a half, continued success, thank you so much. And Kat says hello to the fellow course mates, the folks who are joining in. Uh, looking forward to everything, excellent. Looking forward to seeing you there as well too. Other questions? Oh, wow, gosh, this, course, this class has been quite a while, hasn't it? Whoa, we're, we're here for over an hour and 45 minutes. Other questions? Because uh, I will be bringing this uh, class to an end shortly. I mean, let's see, stuff that I have gone over. Let me activate this window here and go back. And let's see, the stuff that, yep, there's the guarantee for the course. Wow, don't you like seeing things going in reverse here? And the price of $197, back, back, back. And then all of the bonuses, oh yeah, that, that Colin Theriot critique, I think he now charges much more than $500, but that is what, what I did pay back there. And let's see, what else do we have here? There's the sales letter that converts that I talked about, uh, the bonuses, and the call there that is waiting for you in the uh, Facebook group. And let's see, the, oh yes, the adding that $997 product, that was one of my most popular call in my mastermind. Uh, the mind map, folks love mind maps, and it's really great for visual learners as well too. The entire source, boy, that was fun. That was fun pulling together. Uh, the JV template, how many people here use templates? Templates for JVs, it makes it so, so much easier as well too. And let's see, yeah, the, the report template, did I mention, that's also in Microsoft Word and OpenOffice as well too. And three classes, so the struggling product creators, yep, the people who want to make things happen, that is what this course is for. It's not for folks who know everything about product creation. This is folks who want to learn either from the ground up or a get-go, and how to get your products selling quickly, easily, effectively, and then also the follow-up, the upsells, even selling your upsells after the product has launched. 28-day launch cycle, yep, good stuff indeed. Okay, and Tony mentions, have to go, thanks Barbara, I com did commit, speak to you next week. Thank you so much, Tony. It's really, really great. And then all of you, all of you who have been on this call and who have bought in, I'm going to bring this call to a close and go over right now and welcome you all in. So any other questions? And alrighty. So with that, as always, it has been an honor and a privilege to be able to present to all of you Thank you again so much for uh, attending and listening to calls. So this is Barbara Ling signing off, and I will see you on the inside. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.